Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, two apps for you to check out. A virtual recreation of Roland's 808 drum machine and an addition for your musician's toolbox. Let's get started. Our first app today is Boom 808. Now this is a recreation of the original Roland 808 drum machine from the early 1980s. It has the same programming interface, the same sounds, the same controls, so you can make beats on it the same way you would with the analog hardware. Boom 808 is laid out in the same way as the original 808 was. We have controls for our sounds here, so we have panning, we have level controls, tone controls, and then we also have tuning, we have decay controls, depending on the different sounds. Down here we have the steps and the patterns, and here's where we program those different patterns to put them together into songs. We also have control, of course, over the tempo, we have swing amount, and we have a compressor on board as well if you really want to squash that down to get a solid feeling beat. So if we start this playing, you can hear we've really got those traditional 808 sounds. Creating your own patterns is very simple. Just come up here, tell it we're going to make a new pattern. We can name it whatever we like. We'll stick with new pattern for now. And now we've got basically an empty pattern. We select our instrument. For example, we'll click on the kick drum here. And now we can add kicks to this. Switch over to our snare drum. We can bring in our hi-hat. And so on, we can continue adding our parts in there. Once we have it where we like it, we can adjust the tempo. We can add swing to that. We can bring in compression. So we have a lot of control for shaping that, but it's a very simple app for just creating beats quickly that have that traditional 808 tone. Once you have your beats completed, you can open up the menu here. You have an option to then save those to your, into your pattern. You can save it as a newly named pattern. You can export the file, or you can email it to yourself to use it in another app or on your computer. The original Roland 808 was an extremely popular drum machine. In its day, it was really the father of modern drum machines, and it's gone on, of course, to being used in rap music, hip hop music, all different styles. You don't have to use it just in electronic music styles. You can also use it in jazz, in rock, all kinds of different applications for this. And it really has those authentic sounds. It's a lot of fun to play with. With. In past episodes of Sweetwater's iOS Update, we've looked at a lot of different metronomes. And as a musician, you know, you can never really have too many metronomes. They each do something that's a little bit different. Each is helpful in its own way as you're practicing or working on music. The one I've got for you today is very interesting. It's called simply Tempo. And when you open that up, you can see that it's actually, it looks complex, but it's a pretty easy metronome to use. And the cool thing about it is you can set up set lists that have all your different songs with all the settings contained in them. So if you're on stage and you need tempos for all those songs, if you're working through a bunch of different things, different exercises, it'll help you with that as well because you can save all that into the set list, step through songs very easily. So let's take a quick look at how this works. What I like about it is it's very intuitive. You simply select the meter by hitting a button. We can choose 4-4, and that's indicated up on top here. When you start it playing, each of these indicates a beat, and then we can tap on those to either turn them off, to accent them, or to play them as a regular beat. Now we can also subdivide the beats by choosing this here. Eighth notes, triplets, first and third triplet, sixteenth notes, or the first and last sixteenth note. Another nice feature of Tempo is that it has a built-in timer. Now, for example, myself, I've been working on some rhythm exercises lately where I want to do those exercises for like five-minute time intervals. You can do that very easily here. Simply press and hold this button. It gives you a countdown, five minutes, zero seconds. You can turn that on. And then when you select that, bring it back down, turn the count on, and as you play the metronome, it will count down and show you how long you've been playing and allow you to time your exercises. If you don't want to measure the count off in real time, you can also measure it in the number of beats or the number of bars. To adjust the tempo of tempo, we can scroll here between the different Italian tempo terms, or we can scroll up and down using the buttons, or we can use the knob. So we have a variety of different ways to set the tempo in very quickly. And again, you can save all this into a song and then create a set list that has all those different songs there for instant recall. Once you've created a set list that you're happy with, you can also share that. If you click up here, you can share the tempo set list file, or you can save it just as a text file and send that out as well. Finally, for tuning up, we have onboard reference tones. So 
So you can choose whatever pitch you want to tune to, and you can also fine tune that to whatever frequency you want to set A to, 440, 441, 442, wherever you want that to be. If you're looking for a metronome that has a lot of flexibility and versatility and will allow you to save and recall your settings as well as time your exercises, Tempo is a great choice. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, more hardware accessories, and more tech tips on making music with iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher.